I saw this past week and really just behooved my spirit. I just sat and watched. So it really bothers me that all these hoes act like they love each other to death. I know if y'all do each other like that, what you would do to me? Because I don't fool with none of y'all. Right. But y'all walk around in these cliques like y'all love each other to death. And then as soon as they walk off, I watched people talk about them like a dog. So I can imagine what you would do to me. But exactly. I don't give a damn because I'm the one that's going to put you in your place. But... How is it y'all can be so fake with each other that it's like, it's so unreal. Like, you love each other so much, but there's so much envy in your heart that you're not going to be blessed like that, baby. You will not be blessed like that. And that's the problem that I have. It's so catty and cutthroat that I don't need nobody asking me, is I'm coming to a pageant? Because the answer is no. If you see me at a pageant, it's because I want to do one. Don't inbox me asking me about no pageant. Do not call me asking me about no pageant. If I do one, it's because I want to do it. I want to be in it. But do not inbox me with that. And that reminds me of my experience with Continental. Excuse me and forgive me if I'm not so excited about returning to a pageant that I just didn't feel good about. Because I only shared this with a couple of people. So we were in the middle of a hurricane. And again, right. keep in mind, I've already said previously in this recording, I don't care if I'm blacklisted, blackballed, because baby, that ain't going to stop nothing for my daily life. So I get to the pageant after all we've been through, no lights for, for what, two weeks, almost three weeks. Um, airlines kept canceling out to yeah. flights every other 30 minutes. I get to the pageant. And it go, and like I said, a lot of the stuff that these people do at these pageants, it comes from the top. Cause you ain't finna tell me I can go to somebody's business and run it like I want to run it. Okay. It starts from the top. So I get to registration and for some reason, some, I, I just don't understand. My, my promoter had paid my entry fee, which means I was going to be there. I never told about I wouldn't come. We were just concerned about the flights. I get to the registration and the owner of the pageant, because my name and maybe three other people name wasn't on the list. So rudely said to me, well, um, they said she wasn't coming. Now, my next thought was to cuss him the fuck out. But my grandmother taught me to respect my elders because, first of all, you had no compassion for what we had just endured with no lights, no nothing, but still for trying weeks. to compete for, for a weeks. So where is the humanity in that? Secondly, if you had really paid attention to what was going on, you would have known my situation. So forgive me if I'm not excited about the continental stuff. Don't call me about that. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine with y'all. Hey, I'm, I'm fine with y'all thinking I'm fishy. I'm fine with that. But everything ain't for everybody. You're not gonna treat me any kind of way. Period. I don't care who period. you are. Point blank. Not for a pageant. I don't care who it is. You're not gonna talk to me any kind of way. You're not gonna demand anything of me that you can't produce yourself. <laughs> so let's be clear with that. And that go for anybody. Okay. I'm not playing a game of I need to be this. I need to be that. That's not going to happen, okay? I'm a human being that deserves respect. I give everybody respect, so you're going to respect me the same, the same damn way. But that is why, like I said, these pageants are falling. And everybody wants to say, ooh, back in the day they had 30 girls. But ask yourself, if your pageant, and this ain't for just one particular pageant, because we can blame it on a lot of things. But let's be clear, if your pageant had 30 girls back in the day, and it went from 30 girls to three girls, Ask yourself, what role did I play in that? What did I do to have this downfall? Was it me? Was it my farmers? Because some of these farmers, like I said, I hate to keep talking about that, but some of these farmers will really make you slap the shit out of them. They are so <laughs> rude and condescending. And they it's like, baby, even with COVID and us not being to go anywhere for the last, well, two years and COVID still going on, you mean to tell me nothing like that humbled you? Knowing that so many people have died, we couldn't leave out the house, we were almost in prison. That didn't humble you? Right. And the pageants, oh, have, and the pageants have started back up and you still have these same wicked ways. So that none of that humbled your spirit. No. So the next time when something happens, because now it's like you just not listening to God's voice because clearly something with that has a lot to do with that. But now that didn't humble you. So you still think you're invincible, right? So you still think you can live in the world and treat people and you think that boomerang not going to come back to your door? Baby, you got another thing coming. But what you're going to do is you're going to respect these people over here. Exactly. Because not one T-Era, not a rhinestone, because they ain't, uh, those little cubic zirconias, they are not diamonds. And then that's the other thing. Yeah. They want to tell people, oh, well, you should have bought this. Oh, that look cheap. 
ain't nobody around here dressing in fully uh, diamond. diamond dresses because you couldn't afford it in the first place. Everything we wear is an illusion. Art is an exp uh, drag is an expression of what you think it should be. Stop telling girls that they can't wear ponytails and they can't wear this and they can't do that. You don't know what that person sacrificed to look the way they look. That might have been their last chance to build their self-esteem up. Stop tearing people down and build them up. Stop telling people that they not living up to your standard when you don't even have a damn standard, okay? <laughs> Stop telling people that shit. Because these people are doing this because this is something they love. And the moment they stop loving it, you in trouble. Because then what you gonna have? Stop telling people what they can and cannot do when they doing it out their pocket. Because you don't know what they pay, they bank account look like. Stop expecting people to give you $50,000 worth of looks when you ain't gave them $1 to help them with that look. Let them wear their ponytails. Let them wear whatever they want to wear. Let them be who they are. Stop expecting them to be you. Because you ain't stepped on the stage. Okay? Hey. They done pissed me off because it's like, you know, and I don't like that, but... A lot of stuff that a lot of people say when Tamisha was saying a lot of stuff she was saying, Tamisha Iman, y'all said she was crazy. No, she wasn't crazy. She was speaking the truth about her experience because I've seen this shit happen. I've seen it go on. I'm not going to lose my mind to impress my punks, baby. That's not going to Oh, happen. no, that'll never happen over here. Winning no. crowns and, and pins and sashes, that, baby, we win that and put it right to the side. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to go insane for no title, not to impress some people, because guess what? The reality is a lot of people are sitting right now trying to impress, impress a whole bunch of people who ain't got a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out. <laughs> so you try to impress people who have to scrape up for two weeks to get in the pageant? I think not. Not me. I'm not doing it. I'm not trying to live up to nobody's standard but God. I only fear God. I don't fear people. And that's what I said on my Period. post. Period. It's not going to happen. I'm it's not going to hear anything about a man. Not at all. And 